Hi, everybody. Welcome to your weekly Bats Improv update. I am Lisa Rowland, Artistic Director of Bats Improv. Very happy to be coming to you to let you know what's going on at Bats and what you can expect to see there this weekend. So the first piece of this uh, must be gratitude. And it's always a good place to start. And I am just perpetually in a state of gratitude for the support that you have shown us over these weeks. And in trying to figure out how I could appropriately express that, I decided to write you a poem. So I wrote you a poem and I will deliver that poem at the end of this video. It's a limerick. Stick around if you wanna check it out. Uh, the, so let me tell you what to expect at BATS. There's lots of fun experiments happening at BATS. This Friday for the performance at 8 p.m., we are doing an improvised virtual office drama, meaning it is the day in the life of an office workplace that has been forced to operate virtually through Zoom remotely. So check that out. All the trials and tribulations of figuring out tech and the interpersonal dramas that come along with it. I hope you'll join it. On Saturday, we're doing a format called Maestro, which is two directors setting improvisers up in a whole bunch of different scenes. You get to assign points to those scenes as an audience. And the cool thing about it is that we have not only company members in that show, we have guests from all over the world, actually. We have company members, community members, Stanford improvisers, improvisers joining us from Austin, Texas and Melbourne, Australia. So I hope you'll join. I think it's gonna be a real blast. I want to let you know what's going on in the world of fundraising, because if you will recall, Thomas Coates a couple of weeks ago gave a $10,000 grant and said, hey, if your community can raise $10,000, then I'll match it with $10,000 of my own. And folks, we did it. You did it. We raised $10,000. We crossed that mark in the middle of Saturday's show. Incredible. And when I called him to tell him that, when I called him to tell him that his, his grant had been matched, he was so thrilled to be able to help Bats in such a significant way that he extended it. He said, all right, listen, I'll do another 10 grand. If you can raise 10 grand in the next two weeks, I will match those donations. So any dollar that you give over the next two weeks will be doubled. Any $5 is gonna be turned into 10. If you give $100, it will be turned into $200. Your dollars will go farther. Thomas Coates, thank you. Uh, we also have, just to make sure that you know, we've got stuff going on in the school, we have classes going on, we also have, offer remote um, professional training, team building, development, things like that. So check out improv, uh, improv.org for more information about all of those things. And now for my poem. <clears throat> Bats has the greatest community. You support us at each opportunity. We send gratitude flowing because you keep us going. Against hopelessness, we have immunity. Ah, thank you. See you next week.